hell? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. actually gonna be a very uh, much work day we are upstairs currently in my unfinished upstairs and honestly I'm getting really tired of looking at it unfinished <laughs> um, so I'm kind of taking it into my own hands today to do some of this work um, I'm in my bathroom right now which okay those lights still work um, which has started the demo um, obviously this wall is missing big chunk of that wall I'm not gonna screw around with that um, but kind of my goal today is to at least um, I gotta hang up this Ella got really really sick yesterday and we went through so many blankets and through so many bed sheets and because I don't have a dryer that's where I just hang up like really small loads um, so uh, once I get that out of the way I have a hammer and I'm just going to start tearing down this drywall um, you can see in this room, this room will eventually be our second hello, nursery. Hi, baby. Hello, kitty. Hi, hello, kitty. Um, I see, baby. Right now, this is just storing some baby stuff um, and a bunch of drywall from the bedroom. I see. Are you matching? That's cool. I need you to... Oh, you don't have shoes on. No, this way, baby. As long as you put... Hold on. Uh, other five. As long as you put these on, you what? can walk in the hallway, but... I still don't want you around the dust. Crown. I see your crown, honey bun. We're going to destroy your room so Mama can get some work done today. Yeah. Depending on how much time I have this week between work and then trying to, of course, film, you know, vlogs and edit and just upkeep with the house in general. Oh, my gosh. This a little crazy. Um, I'm going to really, really try to get some drywalling done this week. Like, the entire hallway from the top to the bottom needs drywall and I that that's the only part that I don't know how I'm gonna do by myself because when you drywall I've been doing research all day today um you want to start with the ceilings first so I'm like okay the bathroom I could reach with a ladder um but the rest of it I'm not sure so I'm gonna have to do a little more research um we have some Home Depot gift cards which are definitely going to come in handy. Um, I just need to know like exactly what kind of drywall I would want to use for interior walls. Um, I got to get some screws, all that fun stuff. But the first step is to uh, start tearing this down. So I'm going to just kind of set you guys down and um, hang out in, I guess, like a little time lapse kind of thing uh, while we start taking this stuff apart. I can't figure out right now is why there was um, insulation there doesn't make a whole lot of sense unless this bathroom at one point didn't exist I don't know because this is this is our exterior wall so this is where I'd you know expect to see insulation um, this however I don't know why that was there <laughs> Time to take a super quick break. I need to go downstairs and get a ladder because, quite frankly, I can't reach that. But I'm also playing princess with my daughter, so there's that. What are you doing now? <laughs> Hi. You in the box? You. 
Wow. Well, you'll go <coughs> find me. Where's Ella? There she is. Hey. All right, baby. Right back over here. All right, grab the ladder. Hopefully this will make my life a little bit easier. It's really just the um, stuff above the board, door frame, which you can't even see. There you go. Right up here, I couldn't reach. And the ceiling, of course, has got to come down. This will be fun. I know that I should be wearing like a mask and uh, eyewear, but honestly, I don't, we might have some. I don't know where to look for it. I'm doing this by myself. So it's not ideal, but I'm not gonna let that stop me from getting what I need to get done to this house so my daughter can grow up in a beautiful home. So uh, that's that. figure out how to get the ceiling down but I got this I gotta get down and then the rest of that wall and the wall behind you guys so I think I'm gonna do that <coughs> and worry about the ceiling last because I got to uh, get that light down too so let's do it I'm not worried about this toilet because the toilet eventually is gonna be um, torn up let me adjust your angle however All right, so I apologize for this thing this thing is the mirror that's hanging but <coughs> this wall here with this big patch missing is what I'm going to work on next. Um, but I am going to get this metal piece down from the corner real quick. So let us do this. For some reason, this ain't steady. It's freaking me out. What's going on? pain in the butt but oh, I got it down so these are the uh, metal corner pieces you use when you're drywalling it makes the corner nice and smooth you're a bigger pain the only problem I see over here is the toilet being in the way but this uh, toilet's being demoed so I'm not worried about it so we're just gonna try to take down the drywall and uh, <clears throat> preserve the insulation so you don't have to rebuy that because all this obviously is uh, interior wall so we don't have to insulate that. I'm a dang mess, but let's, let's keep going. Thing about here is the floor is rotting because we had a pipe burst. So I gotta be real careful about stepping there. Gotta put down new subflooring and all that, but you know, that's, that's to come. I just gotta watch my step really. This wall is causing me the most problems. I was able to get all the drywall up to the ceiling off um, down here. I just have this, but I'm trying, I'm using the hammer, but I'm trying to do it lightly because I'm trying not to puncture the insulation, but um, you can actually see the old wallpaper that was here more than five years ago, which is kind of crazy, just the nostalgia. So figured I'd show you guys what <laughs> literally it was covered in this blue wallpaper. So we have the rest of this and then uh, this wall with the light. About halfway through this wall so far, um, but I can't figure out why this piece of wood is so crooked. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's for a purpose or just whoever built this house, but uh, yeah, I figured I'd point that out. Uh, but I'm sorry, I dropped my hammer and I switched out my crown for a headband. <laughs> Look at all the drywall on my hair. It's insane. Um, I'm getting to the point now where I'm kind of able to rip this out by hand. Um, there are obviously much better ways, well, I mean, I'd assume uh, to remove drywall, but I'm working by hand and this is all I have. So um, pretty much with the hammer, I'm just kind of like going around where the studs are. Ooh, that one got in my eye. Um, right where the studs are. And then I'm kind of able to pull it out by hand. Um, maybe I can even show you a little bit of the piece up here because um, I was getting some pretty good 
pretty good chunks. This one I might need the ladder for, um, but maybe I can show you here against this wall. So I'm kind of just bang out right next to the studs just to kind of loosen it up a bit because here's where, you know, your anchors are. Um, you'll have screws in other places in the drywall, but you're always going to have them in the studs. So this is your strongest point right here. So we break that away. I can kind of fit my hands into it and uh, just kind of start lifting like that. Um, so that's kind of what I've been doing. And sometimes I get small pieces like this, but um, other times I can get a really good chunk of the wall off. And this is kind of loosening up a little bit here, down here where the screws are. Um, I was able to rip off a chunk. And then I can kind of go here. And this is also where the hammer woo, would obviously come in handy. Uh, kind of as I've been going, I've been taking out these screws because they got to come out anyways because new screws will be going in with the new drywall. So it should just pop out pretty easy. Um, you might have some in kind of a tough spot, like in the corners or something, but um, I don't know. Once the drywall's all done, uh, I'll go back in and find those uh, other other screws and nails that I missed. So I just kind of want that. Uh, whew, that could have been a big piece. Let me see if I can get a good chunk here. Let's see right here. It seems, whew, okay, not as good. Usually, like, I can get, like, a good really good chunk of the wall off but as we get higher of course I'm gonna need a ladder made down here oh here we go honestly I can't find a good angle for you guys so I'll show you in a sec but the whole wall is kind of moving with this piece so I'm just gonna break it and it broke like right here that's a good piece from the floor to about where the light is now I'm not gonna screw with um, the electrical, the wiring up there. I'm just gonna remove the drywall. Um, this light fixture is kind of in my way a little bit here, though. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of shift the light over for a moment. Try to break up the wall a little bit. Or honestly, we might just have to break this simply because the light's in the way. There we go. I managed to rip it from the wall so you can see it sometimes you'll get these really big chunks and uh that certainly helps uh, speed up the process a bit i'm about to pull out another pretty good sized chunk for you guys i think this one's gonna make it all the way to the floor but you can kind of peel it back sometimes just be careful because there are going to be screws and nails sticking out sometimes don't just grab it you know really look first uh, and then i can just kind of peel it from the wall just like that here comes another one and just in case I die just for video reference of what happened I gotta be ready to catch this one Ooh, some of the ceiling was coming down with that one ah. okay. good lordy something similar ow oh, okay? I'm okay <laughs> Did I boop? Don't make me laugh. And there's a spider coming down. Oh my god. Ah, ah I gotta drive on my. It's a spider. Ugh. You better crawl your ass back up there. That's right. Don't screw up my insulation. It's like trying to hit a fly in midair with a hammer. It's not gonna happen. Unless you try to play games, then you're dead. Officially done. This is done. This wall's done, this wall is done. Uh, now we're moving on to the ceiling, which I'm most nervous about. I think my first step is remove. <coughs> removing that light. <coughs> wall stuck in there, but uh, <clears throat> I don't know if I have a screwdriver to be totally honest with you. Um, a lot easier than I thought it, <coughs> excuse me, would be. So it's still kind of hanging there, but it's not attached to the ceiling. So at least I'm able to get this drywall off. I just don't know how I'm going to conquer this yet. I think I'm going to start in this corner and just kind of like pull it this way. I, I'm in a pickle. Uh, this whole thing. Oh my God. All right. Oh my God. Good Lord. Oh Jesus. Lord help me. Oh Jesus. Oh my God. Ah! 
Lordy. <laughs> uh, well, half of the ceiling came down. That was scary. Got the other half of the ceiling in my hand. Oh, oops. Rip that right clean off. All right, there's half of it. That is, that is so gross. Ugh, I'm gonna have to take a serious, whoa, throw all this in there. I'm almost done, baby girl. I'm gonna take this down, clean it up, and uh, we might make a Home Depot trip, but to be honest with you, like I said, this this room needs subflooring. I could definitely start drywalling the, the hallway. Um, I think that'll kind of be my first project because this room still needs plumbing. Uh, so I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. But right now I just want to get all this drywall done, clean all this up and then, uh, and then figure out what we're going to do. Well, Bebba, where's Vampirina? Show me. I, I just got you for, I just got her for you. Oh, I got this nasty blood blister from yesterday too. It's hurting. Where's Vampirina, boo? I can't really come in your room yet. She's got to be somewhere, honey. You got to look for her. I handed her to you. I just don't know. I don't want to touch all your stuff. I'm all dirty. You want to go all messy? Yeah, I'm all messy. I don't want to touch all your stuff. You okay? she, she's there, baby. I promise you. Just got to look for her, okay? Oh. Once I'm all cleaned up, I'll help you if you haven't found her yet. All right, I feel really good. Um, It's about noon now, so we're up there. Maybe an hour and a half. Which I feel like I got quite a bit done in that time period. Uh, but, so, since we're going to run out anyways, I'm just moving everything in the sink so I can wash my hands. Actually, the bathroom sink should be open. She did take a bath last night, so her toys was not it. But I think, yeah, TJ moved them to brush his teeth. So, I'm just going to wash up my hands real quick. I took off my sweatshirt that had, like, all the dust and debris. Um, so, I'm just going to put on another quick shirt or something. I just feel like my hands are really gross. You like can see all the dirt coming off. So we're just gonna get us cleaned up here. Ick, that water is brown. Okay, perfect. Really touch any of our towels, to be honest with you, until I take like a full on shower. So, all right, we are just going to uh, run out. Like I said, get some lunch. Uh, I just gotta throw on another sweatshirt and then we should be good to go. Yeah. All right, we got our drinks. We ordered our food. Okay, guys, so it's been a couple of hours. I moved the baby gate. It wasn't there before. Um, but I was able to at least, you know, get all that drywall off. Um, I moved it over here for now. I got a couple boxes, a couple bins. Um, I just don't have any means to get rid of it right this second, so it's got to sit here for a couple days. Um, but I feel really good. I came in with, like, a vacuum, and I swept, and I really cleaned this place up, so... I feel really good about the work that we got done today.